Congratulations, Jeremy. The general consensus seems to be that that was one of, if not your best performance ever in the UFC. Would you agree with that? Uh, I don't know. I, I, you know, normally when I fight, I'm just so focused on just being in that present moment and uh, going to work. Uh, you know, not going to lie, I was extremely nervous for this fight. Uh, I got back to home base with Eric Del Fiero and uh, just worked on not chasing, stick to the center of the octagon until my hands raised, and that's what we did tonight. Felt like uh, I tuned in. We had a great game plan, and uh, we did everything right tonight. I'll have to go back, look at the fight, see uh, what I did good, what I didn't. And uh, but if you say that's my best performance, thank you very much. Looking forward to the next one. Why were you so nervous? Uh, you know, I'm coming off two losses, man. Uh, you know, I'm getting married here soon. There's a, there's a lot of pressure, but you know what, man? I rise under pressure, and I, I was kind of glad I was feeling those nerves. You know, when I feel those nerves, I'm alive. You know, my last opponent, I really wasn't even excited for that fight. You know, I was just uh, like, who, you know, who, who's this? You know, what is this going to do? But uh, it's a fight, and it was a learning experience. It, it set me back, but it, uh, it humbled me, and I got back to home base and uh, put in a lot of work for this camp. And, and uh, the past two fights, uh, stop chasing, stick to the center and, until my hands raise, and that's, that's, that's what we do. That's when we do best. Why did you go back to Alliance? Uh, well, I never really left. There was just uh, there was a coach that I was out there chasing, working on some different stuff. I uh, left for uh, basically a, a camp or whatever, but I never really left. Them guys were always my family. I never said goodbye or like, hey, I'm leaving for good or anything like that. Or was there any any issues? I just went off, chased chased a little something different, and uh, learned what I uh, could learn from it and moved on. At what point did you realize that his leg was injured, and then did you almost change your game plan to start attacking the leg a little more? Uh, you know, I'm always attacking the legs, and, and uh, you know, I, th I feel like my kicks are underestimated. Uh, but when he went down, I think he went down in maybe the first, or well, there's one time he reacted real bad. I, that's really all I can kind of remember. And I was like, okay, he's hurt. And then uh, one time he went down, and then like I was kicking his leg, and then the ref like. I remember the ref like stepping in and I'm like, dude, you're not stopping the fight. And like, I kind of like shoved him out of the way. Like, dude, get the hell out of the way, bro. We're, we're fighting here. You know, you didn't say stop. And I was kind of confused about that whole situation. And then uh, he's like, sit, get over here in the neutral corner. Like, neutral corner. I was like, did I just kick him in the balls? <laughs> and there's some fans out there. Oh, wow. And, uh, <laughs> how about that? <laughs> and, uh, and I'm like, you know, we're just starting this round. It was like second, second or third round. But they were looking at his leg. You know, and I'm like, I'm like, no, we need to get going and keep working on that leg. You know, he's hurt. Are we going to stop the fight or not? So there's just those little weird situations I'll have to go back and, and take a look at. But uh, it was all fun, man. I was in the moment. After he dropped a couple times, after you did work the leg, are you, did you think that they were going to step in and stop it? Do you think at any point they're like, all right, uh, you know, I just... kept like, I was like, uh, are we stopping this? Like he, he fall down, you know? And then like, I, I was like, okay, you're not stopping. So I kept kicking him and uh, I hear my coach like, let him back up, let him back up. So we just let him up, work on his leg and it is what it is, man. Kind of key me into what your game plan was. Were you expecting it to be the Gill of old just to kind of come forward? When, was that part of the game yeah, just to know, watch that? You know what, man? When people tell me, oh, it's going to be a war, you know, uh, guys really don't want to get in those type of wars with me because when we start exchanging, they, they find out pretty quick, like, what's up? Uh, I knew that was kind of going to be his game plan thing, and he's going to go into a war. You know, I'll oblige that. But as you could tell, you know, my shots were hurting him. I was landing good body shots, late kicks, and he wasn't looking to get into a Diego Sanchez <laughs> nightmare. And I, I felt like I had great cardio tonight. I was standing up two rounds and then, like, up in, like, the third halfway through the round. So uh, we were ready to go, man. And uh, game plan was just to put it on him. Have you spoke to your fiance yet? Uh, a little bit. My uh, Nobby, I don't know if you guys know, she works there. She's a, a friend from Iowa many, many years, so she oh, wow. FaceTimed her a little bit and uh, you know, said hi real quick, and I'll, I'll call you later. <laughs> Did she watch the performance? Oh, yeah. I have a, a huge family that just gets together. I mean, my, my family, her family all gets together, drinking tequila, a bunch of Mexicans getting after it, you know, <laughs> so a uh, huge sport. My kids watch the fight, you know, cousins, everybody. So uh, they, they were probably pretty excited, pretty nervous for this fight, you know, if, you know how, how the outcome is going to be. You know, I'm, my uncle, my, my uncle Mike, he's always like, go to the body, Skip. I tell you, go to the body. <laughs> uh -huh. So I went to the body tonight, so I, I, I hope he's proud. Just curious, how big is this wedding, and was it tough to postpone it? Uh, I'll tell you what, it's going to cost me a little bit more to postpone <laughs> it. You know, I was actually getting out pretty good uh, go, doing it September 3rd, but when uh, Sean called and I was like, who? He's like, Gilbert Melendez. I go, hang on, let me make one call. You know, Normally I'm like, yep. I go, let me make a call real quick. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I yeah. So I did that. You know, it's going to cost me a couple extra grand to make it happen, but, you know, as a fighter, you know, I'm not going to get these opportunities 
uh, years down the road, not not like this, not not making money like this, and just uh, coming up to Canada uh, and, and performing. So I, I definitely wanted to take this and uh, and come home a winner. I don't want to get married, you know, on two losses and go home a winner, man. <laughs> Where's the winning? Uh, it's going to be in Iowa. Uh, oh, wow. Both our families are from there. You know, we travel. We're pretty well traveled, and uh, you know, we can go anywhere in the world. And we, we wanted. Uh, we both chose to be with our families and. You know, I'm not just marrying her, you know, I'm, I'm marrying her family and uh, you know, vice versa. And our families are actually both really close and we have a lot of good time together. And it's just, uh, it's uh, for us, it's better with family. Like we could just be in here having a blast as long as there's family there. Did she say yes right away to postponing it? Yeah, she's, she's like, let me, let me see, see about a couple things. And she's like, it's going to cost you. And I'm like, I don't give a shit. You know, <laughs> yeah. then she's like, oh, like, oh, oh, oh. But, it, you know, it worked out, you know, so a couple extra grand and, and a good win. We're going to have a lot to celebrate and uh, a lot to be happy for. You have a shiner in the pictures? Hey, what, what, what's, what's, what's <laughs> it worth postponing if you can't come home with a little, little artillery on there, man? All right. Do you think Gilbert should retire? Uh, it's, it's not my job to say so. Uh, you know, Gilbert's a tough dude, uh, you know, and for him to not give up, you know, I knew he was hurting. Those leg kicks aren't, aren't fun at all. Uh, that's, that's up to him. He's a warrior, you know. Uh, I feel like he just needs to get some, uh, some better fights maybe. Give him, give him another chance, kind of get, get back going. You know, drop him down to 145 pounds. You know, no IVs anymore. He's a little bit older. And he's fighting me. You know, and I'm, I, I'm in the mix. You know, uh, the top guys who've beat me, Frankie and Holloway, they don't, they don't fight me like that. You know, look how they fought me compared to how they fought Lamas and how he fought Jose Aldo. They don't fight me like that. They get hit different. I just have to switch up a few things in my game plan. As long as I don't, I don't chase and, do, and I do the right things like I did tonight, I, I'll be on top, no doubt about it. But you said that you don't think he's evolved. Uh, no, that's just a personal opinion of mine. You know, th does that mean that I think that he should retire? You know, I'm not, I'm not his dad. I'm not his, you know, his, his manager or anybody. I mean, shit, he's still got the balls and hard to go there. I feel like uh, get him some good fights at 145 pounds. Let him, let him kind of work his way back into the division. You know, he's coming down. He's fighting the, uh, an uh, eighth-ranked guy. I feel like a lot of 45ers will do good at 55. You know, it's it's real close matchup, and, you know, we're, we're at the top of the chart. I imagine the rest of this year you're gonna to work on the honeymoon and spend some time. But looking at 2018, how busy do you want to be? And, and 2018, and who makes that's sense? crazy. You even mentioned that yeah. 2018, yeah. that's where we're at, man. Uh, uh, yeah, I want to get right back in there. You know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not doing anything real fancy. I'm gonna go back home and uh, enjoy myself. Uh, pretty sure. But uh, once I get back to San Diego, I'm, I'm, I'm in the gym, man. I, I don't stop, especially at this particular point in my life my kids are growing I want, I want the best for them and the best for me and, and set them up in the future you know I'm just now kind of starting to make good money in this sport and it's been a long time I feel like I should be making a shit ton of more money especially I just beat a guy who makes probably double than what I do uh, so I'm, I'm definitely gonna you know be begging for some more money and, and, and putting on these performances so I can get that Guapa Raleigh and uh, I can retire nice you know I, I definitely want to retire do some do some Fox analysts and stuff like that I feel like I'm a very good speaker and there's a lot more I can offer but as of right now I'm a fighter and I want to I want to make as much money as I can and, and just keep going this, this is fun and this is always a learning experience you know I, I feel like I learn more when I lose than, than when I when I win how many fights left on your deal I don't know, man. I'll have okay. to go back and look at that. That'd be a good way to <laughs> I think, uh, I think uh, normally they, they, they'll probably do a negotiation right about now. So I'll, I'll go back, talk to my manager, and, and see what's up. And, uh, you know, uh, hopefully Danny gives me a nice little bonus for my wedding or something like that, yeah. Who do you want next? Uh, who's ever in front of me? Uh, shit, who's who do we got? Me? I don't know. I have to look at the rankings. I, I don't know. <laughs> like I said, I'm in the moment right now. I, I, I mean, there's a few guys that I fought, you know, lost uh, decisions to right, that are right in front of me. But there's got to be somebody either right in front of me or right, right at the verge where I'm at, and that's, that's exactly where I want to go. I want to go forward and, uh, and uh, fight some tough guys and, and improve myself and, and get back up in there and fight, fight Frankie, fight, fight a Max Holloway. You know, I know Jose, Jose Aldo is uh, you know, crying for like November or something like that, or he's, he's trying to campaign for that. Uh, I would love that fight, you know, but November, that's kind of, that's kind of, it's, it's, it's a little tight on my schedule, you know, and I, I can't push two things sure, back, sure, you know, sure. so, you know, like, you know, uh, December, January, something like that, that, that would be uh, something I'm, I'm de I definitely look forward to. He, he's a banger, so uh, class act, and uh, I think me and him could, could get it on and give, give the fans a, a great showing, but I just can't do November. I can't, I can't keep pushing some shit back, you know. By the way, is that tattoo new? No, I've had it. Okay. Yeah, for a long maybe time. we could see it more with the new shorts or something. Yeah. Family S Toto. Family S Toto. Family is everything. All right. Got that a long time you ago. You like the new shorts? Yeah. Well, I actually love the new Reebok gear. Reebok, thanks for stepping up your game. 
You guys are doing big things now. I uh, love the new backpack. Like, I love that it's not just plain. It's actually kind of giving a little bit of something. I feel like uh, I wish we had like something to do with like a design or something like a uh, maybe not like a logo, but something that we could kind of put together to kind of mark our own style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know, and still keep it like like this, but with with maybe a little, a little bit of unique touch. Yeah, yeah, unique yeah. touch, my man. All right. Cool. <laughs> well, congratulations on the win and uh, muzzle tov on the wedding. Hey, thank you. Nice. All right. yeah,